Hi, photo tester done. We have this. So it is a odd shape box. Obviously from the TWA company, according to the stickers. And actually I have another instrument here with the same kind of stickers. So it is well because they give uh, part on the serial numbers which do not match the manufacturer part number. And also they tell the shipping box number. So what is this? Can you guess from the sticker here? It is supposedly from a Lockheed 1011 aircraft, the unit accelerometer normal triple from the Collins Radio Company in Iowa, Cedar Rapids. Serial number 52 for this thing. So supposedly it is a triple accelerometer, but we do not know if it is one of each axis of a flight or if it is three times the same axis with double redundancy. So the box has this weird shape with, excuse me for the zoom, as expected the three plugs for each one of the accelerometers. We have very hard to remove and replace cap plug. We have on the bottom this plate with obviously uh, Teflon terminals attached in it. We have assembly number here. And we have here this word uh, information, it number and melt number. No idea what it is for. So let's undo the scrolls. We have what seems to be a main cover here with, it is quite unusual, apparently. We have slotted screws. First, it is not very usual on a US made uh, aircraft equipment. And we have no uh, locking nut or anything. The screws are really free to turn. It is quite odd for aircraft equipment. Do we have any manufacturing date on this thing? So far, no. So I will remove this cover real quick. Here we are. So just a box with a part number inside. And here is the first view at the contents. We have, uh, yes, three times the same unit which is called like so. So serial number 121-196-150 made by Sunstrand Data Control. It is a very serious company in uh, aircraft and military computing. We have this information here. It is mounted on a Angled uh, piece attached here at the back, like such. We have uh, warranty stickers, it seems, on the, these two ones, but uh, actually, this one is different. And I can see here we have screws which we do not have on the other ones. So Probably it was replaced at some point. And we have at least our dead code here of uh, 27th of uh, June of 1990. So I will undo now this uh, top piece. It should reveal the wiring and uh, any electronics. So you're not sure of uh, how to access inside this uh, sensors here. Maybe there is an access panel on the bottom, I uh, do not know. If 
Now uh, I will try to open the one with the screws on the top. So here is what we have in here, just as expected wires and mill grade capacitors and resistors on the uh, Teflon standoffs. Nothing uh, very special. So I could actually undo this plate here, but it seems it will give nowhere because it looks like the uh, bottom is uh, completely sealed and we cannot access from the bottom. You have to access from the top. So let me reinstall this and we try to open this unit. So I have no idea if it will be successful or not because I have to go open the four little screws. Ah, it is not too bad actually. I was expecting uh, more problems. I hope I will be able to pull the insides. Yes, the screws are not too difficult to undo. So it is good, but I do not know if it is uh, sealed in any way. I mean glued or uh, potted or anything. We will find out. Uh, so sadly, two of the screws are a little bit behind the sticker. Let me, ah, excuse me. So it was not too bad for this one. And here. Okay, Murphy must be sleeping because all the screws did cooperate today. So now I see a gap here. Let me see with my good old Swiss knife if I can try to pry this open. Yes, I see a gap. Mm. This is always the kind of stuff you don't know what will happen. Oh, nice is. Yes, it was sealed obviously, and here we are. We have the contents, and you know what? It looks like it is screwed from the back. So, finally, I have to take apart again everything here and undo this plate. So really, no uh, any screw on this thing is tight, quite uh, weird. On these ones we have little uh, washers like this, conical washers. And I am one screw away to know if uh, I will find anything useful. Okay, so we have here apparently three slotted screws. We seem it is a soft material inside the slot, so it looks like I am lucky really today. And yes, I will be able to extract the goodies inside this blue box for you. Completely any warranty on calibration for sure, but 
anyway. I will probably clean these screws before I reinstall them. So, I think it is good. And we are able to extract the contents. Yes. The box itself is uh, die cast aluminium, it seems. We have a washer loose inside, probably for uh, getting proper uh, gap and proper alignment of the piece inside. So here is what we have. So first, uh, the electronics. A little board with transistors and passive parts. But I see something weird in the middle here, as you can see. Looks like a very, very long multi layer ceramic capacitor, double stack even. Quite. Uh, Yes, quite odd part. Transistors here have very uh, custom markings. And very nice set of components. And here is the uh, sensitive unit. It looks like it is in two components. I see uh, there are magnets. There is a coil inside here, you can barely see here, in the blue thing. And we have this plate. So not sure of what happens if I undo. Yes, there are more screws to undo, so anyway. Uh, all this seems pretty much sealed. And there is a glue here actually in the putting component of the screws. So I will not take it apart further. But you get the idea. The sensitive part is really very small. Mm, I do not see much more. This part here is just a big magnet. So, is there any patent number on these things? Yes. Here they are for you. So, maybe uh, from these patents we will be able to figure out exactly what is uh, going on in here. Because I have strictly no idea. Usually in accelerators you have a moving part, but here I do not see any moving thing. Or oh, it is a very very small amount of move. But still, it was interesting, nice uh, little device, and I got this on the British eBay for one uh, or two British pounds, something like this. It was really really cheap, so. Not a bad deal for such a nice little item. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.